Mind ghosts. Lisbeth smiled coyly and took a sip from her gin and tonic. For a moment I was transported back to the summer of 88. The crown pub, hot, smoky, crowded. Lisbeth had smiled that exact same smile that night. Back then it had been a real come and get me smile. But me being me, I didn't go and get. Instead, I just stood and waited. Too shy, too scared, too tongue-tied to do what I dreamt of doing throughout my final year of school. That was my chance to kiss the most perfect face in the world, and I let it slip. She was the one that got away. The best lover I'd never had. I'm not sure how many times I'd thought about her in the intervening 25 years, but it certainly wasn't single figures, and definitely not double figures either. She drifted through my mind like a ghost, unable to rest until an injustice had been put to right. Now, thanks to a chance encounter in a shoe shop, she was sitting opposite me, sipping gin and looking almost exactly the same as she had done all those years ago except for a few crow's feet around the eyes, along with a gold band on her left ring finger. A golden band that suggested she would remain to be the one that got away. As we chatted about people from school, I looked at her and wondered if I'd featured in her memory the way she'd featured in mine, whether I'd made cameo appearances in her fantasies, whether I'd satisfied her in the way she'd satisfied me down the years. It was her that recognised me, and initially she'd seemed pleased to see me. It was her that had suggested the drink, but now she looked nervous, a little uneasy. It looked like it'd be one drink and then off, especially as I was regressing into my 17-year-old self, my hard-earned confidence evaporating and my silky tongue getting twisted around the simplest of words. I guess it was not meant to be. The click of the door woke me from my slumber. I reached out my hand to feel the empty bed, still warm from where she'd been. I smiled at the thought of what happened. From that clumsy first hour to the laughter, the kiss, the fumble, and then... Well, you don't need me to tell you. There was a note on my pillow. Clichéd, but cute. Glad we laid those ghosts to rest. Call me. I felt 17 again.